We are craftsmen of our own style. That is what the Bible calls us. We are builders of all kinds of skills that operate as one. This kind of craftsman constructs what God commands with our hands. The workmanship brings an assignment given to us by God. There are five areas in our lives that will sharpen our skills, also give us practice with our gifts. Most of our skills start at home. Number one skill, restoring the family frame. Number two skill, restoring the kingdom-like marriage starting from the inside. Number three skill, training the young ones skills to have a creative character. Skill number four, restoring the home frame with workmanship. Number five skill, building a God-fearing life that takes God out of the box. Leaders, have you ever been seen, have you ever seen a mason prepare himself for the work assignment. He is a skilled builder with wisdom and understanding and all that he places his hands on. He or she is creative in missionary work and knowing the art as it if it, it is his life's purpose. While holding fast to his or her work assignment. This is building a frame is a skilled job. Building a God-fearing man, a purpose mason who builds a foundation in the presence of God. The builder builds a platform in the holies of holies. Then he builds his surroundings on top of a spiritual foundation. This foundation is given by God. It can build many created things. It will become a solid platform before him in God. When a leader is in God, whatever the leader places his hands to do shall be powerful. Build a kingdom, home, and lifestyle. His love for the work and for God, given ministry, is connecting his heart into a love of Christ. His marriage is also his ministry. This opens and renews with kingdom instructions, a foundation that holds his family together with God's covering and readiness. Walking this path in ministry, there's an inheritance that God gives them as a teaching. It's how to balance kingdom work so that he or she can be steadfast in kingdom building. Are you ready to build with holiness in your hearts? Can we walk in the life, in the love, and in the greatness of God?